So today we are going to be talking about the brand new Arsenal update, the Winterfest update. As you can see, we have also received a change log. Apparently they no longer do this in the game. So yeah, we once again are back to the dev forum post, which is totally fine to be honest, but at least we have received a change log. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you actually end up enjoying this video. I would really appreciate that. As you can see, only a small percentage of people are subscribed. Um, I feel really awkward doing this, so apologies for that. But if you enjoyed the video, you know, feel free to leave a like maybe. As always, of course, timestamps are in the description down below. So if you want to skip ahead to a specific timestamp, feel free to do that, of course. So let's take a look at the update. As you can see, Arsenal Winterfest, we have received three brand new maps. The first one is quite interesting, but the hitboxes are a bit meh, to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of those hitboxes. Cold Corner 2, I'm not the biggest fan of this one either. Last but not least, of course, the one that I enjoy the most, Lodge Works. I wasn't really expecting that I would enjoy this one, but this one has been so far my favorite one out of all three of these. So I'm going to be showcasing those, of course, momentarily. Next up, of course, we have 12 brand new characters. As you can see friendly faces right here which is pretty nice and of course some familiar firearms in this case of course these have been remodeled and reanimated we have the m16a2 m16a1 we have the hush puppy which is really amazing this is a really fantastic remake we have the deagle of course and last but not least right here the debu shotgun along with the sg550 and the mk18 so some really fantastic remakes next up of course we have some brand new melodies we have the gingerbread knife and the carrot right here which are both pretty awesome to be honest and last but not least of course some brand new gun skins which are quite nice and I'm going to be showcasing all of the brand new items. I was grinding pretty much all day today to get all of these brand new items so I can showcase them so let's just dive right into the game now. So first things first let's take a look at the brand new crate right here the winter crate once again at the price tag of 2500 battle box and these are of course all of the brand new items that you can currently get which is pretty nice. Timestamps of course like I said are in the description down below so if you're just here for the items as an example feel free to skip ahead to those. First up let's start with with the brand new maps so the first map we're going to be taking a look at is street corner 2 it's the remake of street corner in my personal opinion i think this brand new variant is a bit stretched out and i'm still not really used to it which makes sense but other than that i think graphics wise this looks really fantastic and so much better than the street corner one as you can see it still has the street corner of course where it gets its name but everything else was pretty much changed at this point so as an example the sewer system right here is completely different it's not as tall as it used to be so it kind of makes more sense now to be honest it also has a lot more paths right here so i think that's kind of an improvement but the map feels a little bit stretched out to be honest which isn't necessarily a bad thing but it definitely slows down gameplay by quite a bit in my opinion as you can see the map overall though is a lot more detailed than previously and it just looks a lot nicer you still have the same passage down here which is not that bad you also still have both of these ways to get down here the ladder right here which is kind of cool and then of course this hole right here which has been widened a little bit and I believe there's also a pathway down here with some stairs, which is really nice to be honest. So I think this is actually not that bad. It's just a bit weird right now because we're used to the other map and I think this one is definitely quite an improvement overall though. So next up we have Holiday Square and I personally have some issues with this map, specifically with some of the hitboxes. Like some of these hitboxes are a bit weird. Not entirely sure if I can maybe show some of these, but as you can see like with this hedge as an example, it just goes straight into the hedge. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate but yeah i've encountered a few issues with this map other than that it's a really beautiful map to be honest i really enjoy it i like the snow pile up and i also like the tree in the middle it's also quite fun to play on besides of course a few issues with the hitboxes it's a really fun map to play on and i think this one is really great and here we go this is going to be the final map by the way i'm currently multiplying the time so we can actually go through this a little bit faster this is the final map that was added with this update as you can see this is kind of the main area where people are fighting which is really cool you also have these windows which you can jump into which is pretty awesome to be honest and then there's a few spawn points one is over here one is of course on the opposite side right over here in this small house one is over there and the last few spawn points i believe are right around here so it was definitely quite an enjoyable map and i didn't really expect this one to be so fun so yeah this is definitely kind of one of my favorite maps that was added with the most recent update it's quite fun to play on i enjoy it and i would really like to hear what you guys think about the brand new maps feel free to leave a comment down below and now of course let's move on to the weapons so now let's get to the weapons why don't we start with with my favorite ones from this update the hush puppy right here this one is so much nicer than before um it barely has any recoil now and it just looks super cool to be honest as you can see it's just really awesome to play with it's still the same weapon as before i believe with the same stats and everything but it's just super fun to play with so i don't know i just really enjoy it a lot more than before i think it just looks really awesome 
and yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite ones changed with this update. The Deagle has also received a very nice change, to be honest. It looks so much cleaner than before. I should probably showcase maybe the animations as well, like the inspect animations are really great as well. Um, they just look really clean, to be honest, as you can see. And here are the inspect animations for the Hush Puppy. It's quite similar to the Deagle, so pretty awesome. So the M16A1 has received some changes as well, as you can see it still has I believe the same statistics, just looks a lot nicer and also has some really cool inspect animations. The same goes for the A2 variant, which is of course the one with the grenade launcher as you can see. Same statistics once again, just a different model and different animations. The MK18 also has received a brand new model as you can see, which looks really clean. One of my favorite ones to be honest, quite a huge fan of this one. Really awesome animations as well and we also of course have the double barrel shotgun. This one looks super detailed once again, a really amazing model. A bit unfortunate that when you only shoot one bullet, it actually still takes out both, but I guess that's fine. Last but not least, we have the SG550 right here, which looks once again really amazing. Also, great new model and great new animations. Quite a huge fan of the brand new site as well. This one looks pretty cool. So yeah, really great job by the devs. I think these brand new weapons are just really awesome. I'm quite a huge fan of them. Quite a huge fan of the art style they're going for with these. And overall, I think these are just super clean. So now, last but not least, let's get to the brand new melees right here. You've seen one of them the whole time, which is of course the gingerbread knife. This one has some of the cleanest animations in my opinion. It just looks super cool. Despite being a very low rarity, this one is just really awesome and it has definitely become one of my favorite melees right now in Arsenal. Especially the inspect animations are just super clean. I really like how the character is just playing with the knife, so yeah, this one is definitely really awesome. Thumbs up from me. The second one we have is of course the carrot right here, which looks quite hilarious to be honest. I haven't played with this one so far, but this one definitely has some very awesome animations as well as you can see. Quite hilarious, really nice design, and yeah, it's just a carrot, but really cool. Next up, let's go over the brand new weapon skins. We have armored right here, which is pretty much just, well, some kind of metal sheets, I guess. There you go, you can see it very nicely. Looks pretty cool to be honest, and yeah, definitely kind of a nice one. Next up we have the circuit right here, this one looks really awesome, I'm quite a huge fan of this design, this is actually one of the first weapon skins I kind of like so far, so yeah this one is definitely kind of awesome. Personally I'm not the biggest fan of the weapon skins, but I guess that's just personal preference. Next up we have snow blasted, which honestly looks pretty cool, a very subtle weapon skin right here, I think this one is actually not that bad. So next up we have the sardine lover right here, which is my least favorite one to be honest, but I guess it kind of looks interesting, maybe you guys like this one, but uh, this one is definitely not for me. And last but not least, of course, we have Team Sword. This one is pretty awesome, it's based on your team color as far as I'm concerned, as you can see, so yeah, not a bad one right here, this one looks kind of cool. Last but not least, of course, let's go over all of these different skins now. We have the Bookkeeper, which is going to be the first one. This one actually looks really awesome, quite a huge fan of the shirt and pants, or the ropes better said. Um, they look really fantastic, and I think this one actually looks quite nice. The next one we have is called Jonah, this one looks pretty awesome as well, quite a huge fan of this design as you can see. Really nice clothing, and just a really fantastic design. We have a marshmallow character, which looks quite funny to be honest, but I think this one is really cute overall, so yeah, this one is really adorable, not gonna lie. May as well be one of my favorite ones. The next one we have is called Missing, this one looks kind of cool but a bit creepy maybe i don't know i'm not really sure how to sum this one up but certainly kind of an interesting character the next one we have is called muck right here which is um yeah it's exactly what it is so quite a cute face to be honest really great design and it's literally a muck but pretty nice we also have myra right here i hope i didn't mispronounce the name but this one is definitely really nice quite a huge fan of this skin next up we have someone from the naughty list of course the naughty list are right here which um the chainsaw is very fitting to be honest, not gonna lie. You can also see some coal right there, so really fantastic one. And of course you also have the nice luster right here, where I actually got an unusual variant, which is kind of cool to be honest. Normally I get kind of unlucky, but well this time around I actually got an unusual variant, so pretty interesting. And this one has some presents instead of coal. This one may be some people's favorite one, the North Star right here, which looks once again kind of cool to be honest. A really nice design, and as you can see that's how this one looks like. We also have the Snow Queen right here, which is once again a pretty amazing character to be honest, as you can see. We have Wind Up right here, which is once again kind of a wooden themed character. Pretty nice to be honest. 
And last but not least, of course, we have the Woodsman right here, so this is the final character. This one looks quite alright, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, the chainsaw once again, it's quite fitting. And last but not least, of course, let's go over the brand new calling cards that we have received. There are definitely a few brand new ones. So this is the I have killed one. This is definitely my favorite one. It looks really hilarious despite being an epic only, so quite nice. We also have, of course, the goodbye one right here. I have three of them, which is... Uh, quite interesting. We also have, of course, the Jolly Jokers. That's this one right here, which looks really cute, to be honest. Quite a huge fan of it. We have the Spacing Out one. This one looks also quite funny. And, of course, we have the Wanted one right here. So, I believe this is the last one. And, yeah, this one is kind of funny, too. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you, of course, in the next one. Bye, guys.